Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game from the chess history from 1925. This is a chess game by uh, one of the two of the leading chess players at the time. With the white pieces we have David Janowski and his opponent was Frederick Samish with the black pieces and this chess game was played in 1925 and this is a notable classic chess game. So you probably heard the Samish variation. Okay, so David Yanovsky starts the game with d4 and we have the Torre attack, bishop to g5, c5, e3, knight to c6, developing the pieces, and then c3, bishop to b7, bishop to d3, c takes on d4, e takes on d4, bishop to e7, knight to c4, and black castled, queen to c2, now bishop takes knight, and then bishop takes on h7, it's possible, black is allowing that, but white was not interested and Janowski is pushing the pawn and he can also lift the rook up and then attack his opponent. So asking a question and also defending on h7. But Janowski played queen to d2, sacrificing the bishop and we have knight to g4. Well, if accepting the sacrifice, then after defending the knight, bishop to h7 and the bishop uh, after checking the king, the rook is aiming the king and this is looking extremely unsafe for black. This looks very dangerous. Black has to be pinpoint accurate when he's defending in this position. And defending is very difficult or maybe impossible. So a knight to g4 and then bishop to f4 defending the queen. Knight back exchanging the knights and then h5. So why h5? In this position a Bishop takes on h6 is possible and then after pawn takes bishop, queen takes on h6 and this is a very dangerous attack so white can also lift the rook up and then attack the king. So this is why Frederick Samish was afraid and he pushed the pawn and defending the target. But then simply lifting the rook up, rook to h3, e5 exchanging the material and after bishop to d6, maybe bishop takes bishop is expected in this position but David Janowski played an incredible move and after that move Frederick Samish resigned. So can you see the best move in this position for white which is the best move by far by a mile. So if I give you a few seconds can you find the next move of David Janowski especially if you haven't seen this fantastic chess classic. Okay, so he played queen to h6 and after this move basically there is no sensible defense against checkmate and sacrificing the queen and what a move. And after this move Frederick Samish resigned because there is no defense. I mean if capturing the queen getting checkmated rook to g3 and if bishop takes then of course getting checkmated. This is very simple. So you can't accept the sacrifice otherwise rook to g3 is checkmate. The only defense which is going to prolong this chess game is f6, but this is losing by force. So king to f7, uh, capturing, what else? And then rook to e3. And how to defend? Bishop to g6, checkmate. There is no reasonable defense in this position. Chess engine says queen takes bishop uh, for surviving. And also this move, but after checking the king, how to defend? So you can't go up with the king, of course. So this move and then castling and thank you for the game and what do you think about this chess game what a game what a beautiful chess game and did you see the critical move the key move at the key moment of this chess game queen to h6 and samish resigned so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye